I started my studies, it was in no way uh, a plan that I wanted to become a, a professional mountain biker. It kind of just happened because next to my studies, I started mountain biking a little bit. And when I realized that I had a, a talent for it, uh, I thought that I wanted to give it a go to see how far can I actually take this. Dentistry is a, is a really tough study. It really demands a lot of you. You have to read a lot and you have to spend a lot of time at school. So of course, training a lot and racing a lot and going to school would clash eventually. So around 2009, I, I found out that it was too much because I used almost all my spare time training uh, or racing. And yeah, it just became too much for me. So it was not like there was a big master plan on how to, to get these two things to work together. I kind of had to, to find out myself. So the first thing I did was to say, okay, uh, for now, let me just try to take less courses and have more time for, for something bike related and let's see what, what, what happens. We are now at my school, dentistry school, and today I just had my uh, very last appointment with one of my patients. Actually the one, the patient that I'll use for the upcoming exam. We have to present one of our cases. Uh, so it's a little bit weird having the very final day here at school and never have to come back. Um, yeah, it's like it's a little bit with mixed feelings, I must say. You know, I've spent so much time <laughs> at this place and now it's actually, yeah, done. I just returned my key from the, the locker room that I have and got this uh, receipt <laughs> uh, from when I got the locker in 2006. Around 2014, I made a, a long-term plan, which was easier for me now because I kind of had reached a level within our Olympic Federation or our Olympic system that kind of allowed me to get some help from them to actually uh, make this a, a, a plan that I would have uh, 2015 and 16 entirely off. So in 2016, when I returned to school straight after uh, Olympic Games, uh, it, was really, it was really rough for me because um, I hadn't been in the study rhythm for so long and now not only did I have to study, I also had to combine studies with training and yeah, it was a shock to my system. Depending on how much uh, spare time I would have that day, I would like just fill, fill the rest of the day with training instead. So all my days basically from morning till the evening were fully booked. This is one of the main roads in and out of Copenhagen and there's so many people commuting here. This is also where I spend a lot of the dark evenings after school um, in the winter time with lights on my bike and often I ended up in the middle of all the commuting, commuting traffic. So often you will see like small groups forming on this stretch and people racing each other in, in silence. It's uh, actually quite funny to uh, observe sometimes. The only thing, if I, <laughs> if I have a day where I just want to ride slowly, I can't really do it here without like catching five guys on my rear wheel who all want to race me. And you know, I actually only want to go slow. So yeah, that can be a little bit of a challenge for my, for my head sometimes. For me personally, I must admit, it hasn't been easy at all. It's actually been <laughs> quite challenging, but I believe you just have to get started and throw yourself into it and really trust that while being in there, you will find a way through it. If I were to give any advice to young people who wants to be combine sports and studies, my advice would be to to be realistic about things. Don't think you can handle everything at once. Divide things into small pieces and take one step at a time. Make good use of uh, the network around you. Don't think you can handle everything on your own. You really need uh, some good support around you.